In 2018, the global release of greenhouse gas emissions into the atmosphere added up to 36,570 million metric tons, measured as CO2 equivalent, and is still rising. This vast amount is hard to imagine. It is roughly equivalent to the mass of the current biggest and heaviest cruise liner in the world, the Symphony of the Seas, 161,101 times. In the European Union, 4,226 million metric tons of CO2 equivalent greenhouse gases were emitted in 2018. 79 million metric tons can be attributed to Austria. A trend of the recent years rather constant to marginally declining. Where do all these emissions come from? Most of the CO2 equivalent emissions are stemming from three sectors, energy and industry, transport and buildings. For the Austrian emissions, the figures are as follows. 46% for energy and industry, 31% for transport, and 11% for buildings. Altogether, this amounts to almost 90% of the overall emissions. Specifically, emissions in the transport sector increased in the last decades. From a global point of view, the biggest source of greenhouse gas emissions is the combustion of fossil fuels. To mitigate climate change and consequently limit global warming to a minimum, a drastic reduction in global greenhouse gas emissions must be achieved. However, how can this be accomplished? Hydrogen can play a major role. When hydrogen is burned in a fuel cell, it is converted to electric energy and harmless water vapor. Additionally, hydrogen can be used to convert harmful CO2 emissions into renewable energy sources and raw materials. For example, with one kilogram of hydrogen, an average passenger car can drive a distance of roughly 100 kilometers. But where does hydrogen come from and how can it be produced? Hydrogen and carbon are two essential resources for future climate-neutral technologies. Their demand will rise strongly within the next decades. The project Sustainable Hydrogen and Carbon Supply and Energy Mining investigates and further develops methane pyrolysis for the production of hydrogen and carbon. It is financed by RAC Austria, First Alpine, Primatils Technologies Austria, Wien Energie and Montana Universität Leoben.